A lady lost 50,000 Canadian dollars, and these are the scammers who took it. Try to pronounce my name. You what? Well, just try to pronounce my name, okay? A uh, Vigu? Vigu? Are you freaking Vigu? Yes, you are. You shut your freaking mouth, Vigu, and you talk to me. Now, I can't get her money back, but what I can do is get on their system. With that, I can get all sorts of information. And this is the best option since these guys are in Uttarakhand, India. So it's very hard for someone to locate or even get revenge on these scammers. I downloaded a huge wire transfer receipt that they made a victim send, and I even ran across a live victim who had just been scammed. I don't know what to do now. I just lost so much money. I'm gonna gather all the evidence on their scams and let these criminals know that we know them. Let's get into it. Thank you for calling PayPal customer service. This is Harry William. How can I help you today? I got a scam email from a call center pretending to be PayPal. This email had said that someone had been buying Bitcoin on my PayPal account and they wanted to help me. But in all reality, they just wanted to scam me. So I was gonna call them up and try to access their computers. But it wasn't working at first. Please put Brad back on. He's a okay, little bit more will, competent. Thank so you. So I will cancel each and no, everything. Okay, put, you put don't Brad need to worry on. about put it. Okay? Don't be a chocolate guy. Thank you for calling. Put Brad on, you chocolate guy. Have a great day. Yeah, put Brad on, you chocolate guy. Hey you, hey you. Yeah, hey you. This is a Mac computer. No, it's not. It's a Mac Nobody computer. What are you talking about, you idiot? Okay? You are idiot. No, I'm not. You are idiot. You're Budu. You're Budu. Yes, you are you idiot. Are no, no. Dang. Dang, I'm gonna get my butt whooped, y'all. Sorry about that. getting access to a scammer's computer. I called the scammers back and I got Jessica. Now Jessica thought that I was Linda for some reason, so I played along with it because I wanted to get access. Within a few seconds, I got that access. So do I give you, let me give you this No code. need to worry, could you please tell me your... Yeah, I'll, I'll give you the, I'm sorry, I was in the middle of it, it's a one Yes, give me this card. Yeah. So miss, now I'm going you to send a request from PayPal verification server, okay? Did you see that? I trust on this call? Yes. Okay, my screen says accept and reject. Hit on accept. Okay, perfect. Okay, now, just go back to your laptop okay, home screen. What? Go to the laptop home screen. Perfect. Okay, just give me a moment, miss. Now I'm going to transfer your call to my floor oh, no, supervisor. Hold on, hold he will on handle now. your so case. Is this, About? The, is this the hack that I've been hacked or... No, miss, I'm just here to help you out with that case. Just give me a moment. I'm here to transfer your call to him, okay? Okay. Got him. Got him. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Woo! That's like a one minute scam bait. Let's look at the files. The first thing is not even a file, it's a name. And that name is Vigu. Now we see this on the scammer's computer, and we're gonna use that a little bit later against them. Going through some of these files, I saw things like money meals that they were working with, bank account details and screenshots of bank accounts, even call details down to the victim's names and their phone numbers and how they reacted to the scam calls themselves. But the thing that got me the most, the thing that really pissed me off was a wire transfer for 49,500 Canadian dollars. You see, when I come across things like this, I can't do anything about it. This person's already been scammed. They've already sent the money and it's just gone. And that's why I have to get payback on these scammers. I called these scammers up over and over and they simply just stayed on the phone. Hello, may I speak with VQ? Hello, may I please speak with VQ? Hello, your, your name is hello. Your user is hello. Hello. Does anybody want to... All right, I'll just delete every single one then as I go through. Images 3, delete. Your stupid wallpaper, delete. Angela, delete. Alicia, customer details, delete. Who's Alicia? Can I speak with Alicia, please? Alicia? All her things are disappearing from her desktop. Yeah. So she's yeah. like, <laughs> little nervous. Oh, dang. Oh, Vinay. Oh, she's deleting everything. Yeah. She's nervous. She nervous. She's clicking around. 
scammers in Uttarakhand. Oh. 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 So that no, actually just... might be a, vi a victim. As I was watching the scammer's screen, I saw a number pop up over and over and over again. So I decided to intercept that and call this person up. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. You're calling a fake PayPal. Did you get an email about PayPal? I was told that was Amazon. What am I gonna do? Because they just took they just took a thousand dollars from me. It's okay. I got you. There was a young lady on the other line and she was completely distraught. She told me she had been scammed by this very call center and I wanted to help her. I don't know what to do now, but I just lost so much money. I'll try to work with you and help you out as much as I can, okay? I'm sorry, my thing is so I'm outside right now because I'm like really embarrassed and like face my family right now. It's fine. It's okay to be upset about it. Like it's it's tough because the scammers are really good at what they do. So they have me um, videotape pretty much everything on my phone. Any desk, it's called. Yeah. Bro like broadcasting thing. Yeah, any desk. And they had me buy gift cards from Target. You have a receipt of the Target gift card? Yes, I do. Should I send okay. it to you? Yeah, text it to this number. Okay. Did you uninstall any desk? <laughs> Yes, I did. Okay. Well, how about this? I'm going to call him really fast. What was the guy's name? Uh, Victor Hall. Just don't pick up when they call. When this number calls, you can pick up, okay? Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right. One of the things that I hope is not lost here is that the scammers have access to the victim's phone. Even if they're off of the call with each other, the scammer can now see and do anything on their phone, and they can even take whatever information that they want and do harmful things with it. Our security partner Aura deals with this threat of malicious actors taking your information and spreading it across the net. They do things like fraud monitoring, AV and password management all within a single app. And they'll go out on the dark web and they'll look for things like phone numbers, email addresses, social security numbers, and then they'll alert you when they find it. If you don't think that something like this is important, then think again because there's a high possibility your information is being shopped right now. Guys, I wanna tell you this. Identity theft is on the rise, it's not going anywhere. On average, every 14 seconds, someone loses about $1,000. Aura is a security app that will go out and alert you when they find your information out there so that you can take the proper steps to protect yourself. Head on over to Aura.com slash payback for a two week free trial and you can put all of your information and see what's out there on the dark web so you can go protect yourself right now. So I've seen and I've heard enough about this call center. They've scammed too many people, they've taken too much money, I've got their names and their location, and now I'm gonna call them back and see if I can get on their system one last time. Can I speak with Victor Hall, please? Thank you so much for holding the line. This side, Victor Hall, I'm the floor supervisor. How are you doing today? Yeah, hi, Victor. I've got the gift cards, the two $500 or $400 gift cards from. You have got the gift cards? Yes. Okay. And uh, do you have any application installed on your phone? Any disk? Yes. Open up the application. Okay. You want me to give you the code, I guess? Which code? Uh, one five four eight. You have to click on start now. Okay, I did that. Or start I podcast. Hit, I hit accept. And then. Yeah. Then hit on start now. This stupid. Okay, I just. I almost right need now. a new mouse as well. <laughs> um, I did it. <laughs> no worries. No, it's not. I did it right it's now. It's ma'am. It's not sir. Um, oh, okay, ma'am. Yeah, it's pierogi, not. It did it. To Nothing to happened pierogi, yet. Are you talking to pierogi? No, uh -huh. you're not. <laughs> <laughs> then whom I'm talking to? Pierogi. I got your voice, man. <laughs> I, how hard is it to get my voice, you idiot? I'm not even using anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> I got your. He's like, I got your voice. I keep. I have your network, you idiot. I, keep, I already I have keep your watching network. Watching your videos, you know. You have whole, I already have your network, seriously? idiot. Grab me. Grab me, you idiot. It's grab you. Grab you. What do you mean, grab you? Okay. I already have your network, you idiot. Try to pronounce my name. You what? will just try to pronounce my name, okay? Oh, uh, Vigu? Vigu? Hall. Are you right. Vigu? Is your name Vigu? I'm gonna make your. Are you Vigu? Small. Hey, Beta, are you Vigu? Are you freaking Vigu? Yes, you are. You shut your freaking mouth, Vigu, and you talk to me, idiot. All right, I'm gonna try and back really quickly, actually. Thank you for calling customer support. My name is Anna. How may I help you? Is Vine there? Can I speak with Vine? Vine? Yes, Vine. Please, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. -A Hold on a second. Thank you. Yeah, hello. This is Vinay. How may I help you today? Vinay. This is your daddy. Okay, fair. You know what really pisses me off, Beta? You think you could pretend to be PayPal? You think you could pretend to be Amazon? Who are you? You call me daddy. You understand, Beta? 
and I am about to bring the full fury of God on you, and I'm gonna find your network, hey. which I'm on, and all those little uh -huh. teeny tiny computers, you chota laura, and I'm gonna save more people and, apart from, and take and apart and from apart no from. Sh beta chup chup chup. I'm not done yet. You understand me? Uh -huh, huh? Uh -huh. I know you understand, Beta, so Choop. And apart from my name, who named, uh, who's named I have others. World, right? I'm not going to tell you because this is how it works with you guys. If I know your name, Shut up. You're, listen, you Jota Lauda, listen to me, Beta, okay? What did I say where it was earlier? It was like a very interesting location where they were. What Hyderabad? Did, no, not Hy Hyderabad. You're in Hyderabad? <laughs> <laughs> you're not. Uttarakhand. Yeah, that's what it is. Uttarakhand. Yeah. State yeah. in India. Vine. Hey. Hey, Vine. Switch ball, Vine. Yeah, go ahead. Switch, go switch ahead. Switch ball, switch ball. Okay. We're not even done. This is the start because you pissed me off today. You understand me? Stop going after innocent people. That's why we're going after you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Your location? You're just... Hey, Vine. Um, my, my name is not Vine. Oh, so where's Vine? Is Vine too upset to talk to me? Huh? Vita. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, Pierogi here, and I wanna wrap up the call, but we're actually at the Global Anti-Scam Summit in Lisbon, Portugal, I'm about to go speak, but I wanna talk about after we hung up the call with the scammer, we were still watching their screen, but they ended up imaging the system so we couldn't see them anymore, which sucked. But a couple days later, I got a text from the victim. Her bank had been in contact with her. They gave her her money back and they made her whole again. This has been Pierogi with Scammer Payback, saying protect yourself and don't get scammed.